Hello and welcome back to the My Imagine channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Brat Slumber Party Collection Chloe doll. This is a reproduction of the 2003 Slumber Party line by Bratz and retails for $24.99 and I got this doll off of Amazon but they are available in Target and I believe online at Walmart. Um, the reproductions come with a little less accessories than the original. Um, I personally don't mind. I'm here for the doll and for the outfit and for the plushie. Um, I would, will be losing these accessories after the video. Here's the side, and then here on the back it says create over 15 mix and match fashion styles. And then we have art of all of them there, 2D art of Chloe. Uh, for this review I will not be putting her in her 2D art accurate look. I prefer the one that she came with. Maybe a slumber party, but who said anything about sleeping? Join the Bratz as each bring their individual style to make the sleepover fun, fashionable, and unforgettable. And this line contains Sasha, Chloe, Jade, Yasmin, and Megan. And this doll comes with two comfy tops, two cozy bottoms, one bathrobe, a fuzzy pair of slippers, an eye mask, a plush toy, and so many accessories. Um, and then we can show you the barcode. Um, she is showing up in Targets. I'm not sure about Walmarts just yet, but if you want to go hunt her down, there is the barcode. And I can't tell what's off about her face. It, I mean, it looks fine, but something is like giving me a weird feeling about it. Here she is out of the box, and I love her hairstyle. It's really cute. And I love that they gave her a more strawberry blonde hair. Um, Chloe's hair is normally a little bit more like bleach blonde. And I'm happy that they gave her this darker shade. I really love the contrast between the bathrobe and the pants. The red and blue are really contrasting. Um, and her pants are kind of hippie looking. They have a lipstick iconography as well as boots and like compact mirrors on them. I think she has a lot more effort put into the pajama pants for her than the other characters. And then this is her under garment or like her top that was underneath the uh, bathrobe. It's just a plain, plain, plain top. Um, white plain top. So that's kind of forgettable. I will be putting her in her second top later on. Here is her eye mask. It is a little boring compared to the other characters. Um, and then these are the accessories. I'm not going to take them out because they are going to get all over the place. But she comes with a toothbrush, a curling iron, some nail polish, Bratz brand toothpaste, a pen, a journal, and a really big hair clip that I don't know where I would put that, honestly. Next is her pet pig, which is actually really cute. I didn't even look at the stock pictures for the pet, and I had no idea what she was going to come with. I just assumed it was a pig, but I never actually saw what it looked like. Here is her pink top with a little silver star on it, which is way cuter than the um, white top that she came with. And then she has little angel themed uh, short blue shorts. So I am going to go wash her hair and put her into these second outfits here. But before I do that, I'm going to show the poster that she comes with. I officially have two more dolls in this line to get, Sasha and Megan. And then I will have a complete poster collection. I love the Bratz posters. They're so fun to hang up on my walls. Here she is after the wash. And honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I shouldn't have, uh, I accidentally broke the yarn that was holding these, uh, two strands of hair in the back, back to her head. And now they're just in her face. I'm going to have to redo this. I kind of rushed it for the video and this looks absolutely atrocious in the back. But 
yeah kind of disappointed with me that was a me error when i was washing her hair um, and now it just looks really poofy but that's it thank you